It's only now that I understand the depth of the depravity of this creature, this monster that I unwillingly helped to create. As if what he had already done wasn't enough, he found a new way to desecrate, to humiliate, to destroy. As if the suffering wasn't enough. Over a month ago, someone in my Discord server posted a FNAF movie theory claiming William Afton was Michael's dad, and in it they cited the FNAF Movie 2 teaser trailer. Wait, FNAF Movie 2? Oh my goodness, it's real. These masterpieces are made by Screen Culture, the same guys responsible for works of art like Five Nights at Freddy's, Super Duper Ultimate Final Trailer, with thumbnails like Mike threatening Freddy with a gun and Spring Bonnie wrapping Mike up in a gift. I know they don't necessarily try to hide the fact that these aren't official trailers, they usually put some kind of disclaimer or hint near the top of the description, but that doesn't mean much when they also plaster their thumbnails with official trailer. Some of their thumbnails go for a different type of shock value, like this one. Moana is 16. Sometimes they'll make trailers on movies that have pretty much no footage out, so they just keep the footage and dialogue as vague as possible. Or they try to deepfake it. This is just the beginning. Take notes, Disney. And that brings us to the FNAF 2 movie trailers, which they started making just over a week after the first movie came out. Since these trailers are good enough for some people to believe they're real, I'm gonna rate them as if they were posted by Universal Studios themselves. It felt a little unfair to critique these trailers so harshly without making my own trailer and seeing if I could do a little bit better, so that'll be at the end of the video. First, we have the FNAF Movie 2 announcement trailer. Who let Springtrap into the hospital? I like to imagine that the residents of Minnesota or wherever this is are just totally used to William walking around in a giant bunny suit so they don't bat an eye when he shows up at the hospital like, um yes hello I have come back to see my daughter. Oh of course William, so sorry about what happened, we were told she was stabbed by a career counselor wearing a yellow rabbit suit. Make sure to look out for that guy. I already told you all. I always come back. I think this is supposed to be that black liquid that comes out of the foxy kid's eyes in the actual movie, but it just looks like Bonnie has a nosebleed. There's so much you don't know. That line unironically goes hard. Oh no, Abby's going through an edgy phase. This is the funny thing about screen culture. The editing is both really surface level and really detailed at the same time. On one hand, I'm convinced this is AI generated art because there's a bright blue animatronic with no body and no ears, but right next to it, there's a picture of Mike's family on the fridge that's only shown for a brief second in the movie. I love how they went through all that effort to add that little detail, but also use AI art in the same frame. And no, they're not opposed to using fan art in their videos. That's coming soon. Let's see if that little family picture detail means anything in the plot they're building for this sequel. There seems to be another location with more of them. At this point, it's obvious they're using AI voices. Mike sounds like he accidentally took a double dose of his sleep pills for this one. Did you really know who your father was, Mike? This was the line the person in my Discord server was referencing. I would hate this if this were an official trailer because it gives away the twist of the movie in the trailer, but hey, they pretty much did that in the official trailer, so you know what, screen culture, you were spot on. If this were the official FNAF 2 teaser, I would give the dialogue a 3 out of 10. Everything else would be a 1 or zero. I know it seems a little harsh to rate these as official trailers, but when some people believe these are real, I feel like it's then fair to critique them as if they were official. 1 out of 10 FNAF movie trailer overall. Now let's look at the full trailer. A lot of shots are reused, but we have different music and some more 10 out of 10 dialogue. That's why you're really here to change what happened. I wasn't kidding, that's 10 out of 10 dialogue. I like to imagine this is the blonde kid talking to William after he comes back, like William is trying to regain control over the other animatronics, reverting what happened in the last movie. That would be a terrible direction for the plot because it would be the exact same movie done all over again, but that was a creative way to use that line, that's good editing. There are more victims we didn't know about, and that means... Why does it show Garrett after he says that? The main driving force of the movie was Mike trying to know about what happened to Garrett, and he finds that out at the end of the movie. Ever since you destroyed the pizzeria. What is Gmod Freddy doing here? Honestly, seeing that in real life would be much scarier than regular Freddy. They're onto something here. We have been putting it back together. I just realized that more victims we didn't know about combined with this footage means William replaced the FNAF 1 animatronics with more FNAF 1 animatronics, so it's just the first movie again. New and improved. The exact same thing. Oh, and Abby, 
There are some new friends I want you to meet. In what context does William say this to either Abby or Mike? Is this another phone guy Easter egg? There are some new friends I want you to meet. <laughs> Seriously though, the idea of Springtrap somehow talking to Abby about new friends is pretty creepy and interesting. The editing in this one was better, mostly because of Gmod Freddy, but I would say the dialogue was a slight step up. 5 out of 10. I sure hope the plot doesn't get worse in the next two trailers. 2 out of 10 FNAF movie trailer overall. This one shows Burn Trap and Springtrap tying mic up to a tree in the thumbnail. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. Next up on the list is the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 full final trailer. This one is my favorite by far, for reasons you'll see very soon. Those drawings, what do they mean now? I would say they mean nothing, because Abby, as per the end of the last movie, is no longer communicating with spirits because those spirits moved on, allegedly. But I guess William had another five pack of 80s kids somewhere in the supply closet. So I guess we're back where we started. Nothing stopped here. Nothing ended like you thought. You gotta love it. It's just the most nothing thing you could ever say in a trailer ever. It's just like saying, this isn't over. It's like, yeah, the, the movie's gonna happen. Yeah, it can't be over yet, right? Oh, wow, William, you're looking pretty good for someone who's been dead for an entire year. I have been watching you, Mike. I have been watching you both. How? Again, William is a rotten corpse in a giant rabbit suit who's now probably wanted for stabbing his daughter among other things. Does he see us when we're sleeping? Does he know that we're awake? Merry Christmas, my friend! Afton had even more secrets than we thought. Really? Are they really secrets when they're just more of the same things you already found out about him? It sounds like he just had more possessed animatronics lying around, which isn't surprising for a guy like him. You thought what happened was crazy? This line is hilarious to me. AI William voice said that so calmly I'm convinced it used Springtrap's FNAF 3 jump scare as reference material. You thought that was crazy? Oh buddy, just you wait for Freddy 2.0. He's just like the first Freddy, except he's exactly the same. I give the editing on this one a 2 out of 10 because it felt random and I'll give the dialogue a 1 out of 10 but it's a 7 out of 10 in my heart because it's really funny. The thumbnail shows Nightmare Bonnie behind Mike in a burning forest. I'm glad they chose that thumbnail. The burning forest scene in the trailer was peak cinema. 1 out of 10 FNAF trailer. Now let's do the final trailer. This one has some of the most baffling choices they could have possibly made. There's something I want to show you. Oh, what is it? A new place. A place for my new friends. And you too, Mike. That's a really, really good line, actually. A new place for me and my new friends and you, Mike. That's genuinely menacing. Please give me more of that. A new friend of mine. They got a J Cinema clip of Night Marion. Nightmare On. Nightmare On is one of the only, out of all the hundreds of FNAF characters, one of the only ones that doesn't physically exist, and you can tell by just looking at it and all of its tentacles. It's only ever existed in plush form or in non-canon DLCs or in in-universe video games. As far as we know, it's the physical manifestation of death itself. Where did William get this much power? The nightmare is just beginning, kid. Those on-beat transitions were actually so sick, only for one of the last ones to have Gmod Freddy again. I give the editing on this one a 4 out of 10. Everything seemed pretty cohesive and it was synced well with the music. The dialogue is a 3 out of 10 as well. 3.5 out of 10 FNAF trailer. The thumbnail shows Nightmare Bonnie chasing Mike, along with Springtrap and Burntrap. Springtrap and Burntrap in the same place. This is the last one. You can tell because it has the word last in the title. They definitely aren't going to make 10 more last final trailers when the official trailers release around a year from now. The thumbnail goes crazy too. Nightmare Bonnie has Michael chained up like a little canine in this one. I can't wait to see that in the trailer. This one wastes absolutely no time showing us Nightmare Freddy standing on one of the cameras. <sighs> It shows us Nightmare, and it's some pretty well done 3D animation, especially for the last final trailer. There are other locations out there. With many new friends for your sister to meet. Why does William think Mike is gonna take Abby to five different Freddy's or wherever? Is he doing an I visited every Freddy's Pizza in America YouTube video or something? This is our last chance. No, Mike. This is your last night. 
I really like that line. To end the trailer, we get another clip of Nightmare walking up to Mike, and again, it's pretty good. These are the bits of these trailers that take the most effort and transform the original footage into somewhat new content. I wish they would do more of this, focusing on quality over quantity. I give this one a 3 out of 10 on dialogue and a 5 out of 10 on the editing, giving it a 4 out of 10 overall rating. I know screen culture makes these trailers for fun and to hype up the fans for the real thing. I like the videos they make, I think they're a lot of fun, but it is a bit uncomfortable to me that their entire business model is based on deception in a way. My critiques of their videos and writing and whatever, that's all in good fun. I know it's impossible to make masterpieces on the daily. And speaking of good fun, I really enjoyed making my attempt at a teaser trailer. So here it is. When you inhabit one of those machines, how much of whatever remains is still you? What I keep seeing. I don't know if it's a memory or a vision, but I can't get it out of my head. Are there any other places that I need to know about? I can't just move on with my life knowing that if he's out there, he's like they were, he doesn't have the option to move on. You're the only living person who could know anything about where he might be. I want you to rate my trailer in the comments and feel free to be honest. This isn't just me begging for engagement for the algorithm, I genuinely want to know if this teaser is garbage or not. If everyone really likes this, I'll get a real voice actor and some 3D animations on this and post it on my second channel as its own video, and I'll make sure and put concept right up in front of the title to make it clear that I'm not trying to mislead anyone. If people believe this one is real, it's their fault for not reading the title. I'm recording this just over 2 hours before posting this video. If you couldn't tell, I was trying to be nice. I just thought somewhere deep inside screen culture there might be a group of people who enjoy making movie concept trailers for the craft itself, and I didn't want to bash them for that. But boy was I wrong. Under the mustache and glasses, screen culture is a good old fashioned content farm. My friend and fellow YouTube channel, Gavin Ganewicha, stumbled across Screen Culture's community tab. On screen is the tamest example I could find that shows the vibe a lot of their posts go for. Most of these are extremely suggestive images, like I said, or even explicit images, with even more suggestive captions that are also usually sexist. Of course, a lot of these images are AI generated. Their second channel only posts short AI generated movie recaps with Darman style titles. They tend to cover movies with adult content for obvious reasons, and there's always a giant NordVPN affiliate link near the top of the description. NordVPN. I don't know how affiliate links work, or if you know what this channel is doing, but I would consider removing all affiliation with them if I were you. I say this all to say, Screen culture, you're not a group of people working to make good content. You use whatever technology you can get your hands on to scam as many people as possible, and you promote Disney trailers and R-rated movie scenes on the same channel page. You serve zero purpose besides tricking children into believing your lies and giving me a good laugh at how awfully edited your trailers are. I take back every good thing I said about you in this video. Shout out to my glorious channel members, they got to see this video early. And if you're in the mood for more silly little videos like this one, click here to watch my video explaining all of FNAF 1 through 8 in 487 seconds exactly. Thanks for watching.